ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהכל נהיה בדברו. We have heard much lately about sexual harassment. I presume that has existed for centuries, probably, because women were discriminated against, and maybe assaults against them were not considered to be so serious, whatever the reasons be. And I think that a tremendous movement occurred in the world when women obtained voting rights. They can elect people. They became more integrated into society. We see that, for instance, in the workplace, women don't get the same salary as a man. But as time passes, they're coming closer and closer. There is no question that sexual harassment is terrible. And something must be done about it. Each case has to be judged individually, of course. I just read recently, you must have read it too, about a Bangladesh woman that left Bangladesh went to the United States or England, I don't remember exactly, came home and she wanted a divorce from her husband because she felt harassed by him. He took her into a room, laid her forcefully on a bed, and with two fingers he simply blinded her. That's extreme, extreme violence that you have. This man was sent to jail and he, it seems he died of a heart attack in jail. But tremendous, but I'm not speaking about those extreme cases. I'm speaking what occurs maybe on a daily basis in offices and what have you. Look at what happened in the United States. Several congressmen had to resign. People that are very notorious in television, in the media, who are at the top of their career suddenly disappeared because they were accused of sexual harassment. So it's a very important issue that we should consider today. However, we must also look at the context in which this, this takes place. How do you sell an automobile today? You open the pages of a magazine, you see a convertible, you see a beautiful woman standing next to it. And the message somehow is, it's not subliminal, it's very open. Get the convertible, you get the woman with it. You know, it's the merchandising of women, the merchandising of sex. It's part of our culture. We have to think about what we are doing in order to stimulate this kind of behavior. Of course, we cannot deny what Freud has taught us and that in religious traditions of many people existed way before. We know the importance of the sexual drive, but on the other hand, Culture, civilization, religion means you have to somehow domesticate these kind of drives and put them within norms so that they do not do damage to other people. You know, I thought about this issue lately because I see it's becoming prevalent and it probably has been so, except that it comes into, into the fore a little more. So much so that something a person did 20 years ago, you remind him today, you did such and such a thing two decades ago. How can you possibly be serving as a leader, as a model for anything? You know, I was wondering, you know, in Judaism and in many other places, we have a concept called teshuva. You know, I'm sorry for what I did. I paid my debt to society. I'm a different person. You mean to say that 20 years hence, I'm still the same person as I was 20 years ago? Look at what I've done in the past 20 years. But it seems in the case of sexual harassment, we're not willing to consider that, that the person has changed. Maybe he continues to be the same thing. You know, I think it is because of the values in our society. Why do women spend so much money on cosmetics and what have you? Go to a beach, take a look at how much clothing a woman has on when she goes to the beach. On one hand, you want to attract men. On the other hand, you feel you don't want to be attacked by men, no harassment. What is missing? Apparently, the word consensual is very important. When two people want, that's it. I once read, what is a Broadway play? When he wants, she doesn't want. When she wants, he doesn't want. When they both want, the curtain comes down. That's it. They both want. 
But I think we are missing a very important ingredient. What about the loyalty to their spouses? Many of these people are married. There is no moral ingredient. We're only talking about the fact that it wasn't consensual. What about the betrayal to his own family, to his own self, actually? I think that sexual harassment has to be attacked. Has to be eliminated, has to be fought. I don't know if it'll be eliminated, it has to be fought, without any question. But I think at the same time, it is time that we question our own value system, our own morality uh, preferences in today's society. Aren't we part of the environment that stimulates this sexual harassment? So I think it is a moment where important changes can be introduced into the makeup of society in general.